Hi folks, my name is Ken Hagerman, a landscape painter, oil painter. How I got involved was basically a spur of the moment, uh, quick decision to take a landscape painting course with John Keast uh, up at Sioux College, night course. And uh, I was the new guy, no clue what I was doing. And he taught us all how to paint. Somewhere along the line, I guess I just got hooked and I've never stopped since. Um, it's really tough to paint Algoma. It's, it's, it's tough terrain. There's a reason why it took uh, as long to run a railway through Algoma as it did the Rocky Mountains. It's, it's uh, high rocks and uh, deep ravines, raging rivers, swamps, bogs. It's, it's a chaotic mess, to be honest, and it's, it's, it's not easy to paint in a studio. You start taking your show on the road and hauling paints and canvases and easels out into the bush, it gets even harder. But it's fun, it's worthwhile, it's what I like to do. It's so much out there and the easiest way to, to paint it is to break it down into simple forms, um, shapes and patterns. We'll talk about this piece. It's called the Mighty Mississauga. It's a uh, big river, runs uh, along Highway 29, north of Thessalon, um, and here it is. So if we are to step into the painting, just over the frame here, we come to this little foreground. That foreground, it wasn't there when I was there. I just thought it rude to put the viewer standing knee deep in cold river, so, couple of light, uh, some nice warm rocks. That's where we can sit down and take a load off, enjoy our view. Uh, we've got a simple basic triangle here. Think of the pyramids of Egypt, nothing more stable than that. That's really the anchor that holds the whole piece together. Offset over here by another, well, we'll call it an implied triangle. And they're both joined together by this dark, lumpy shape back here. Basic, simple shapes and patterns. Um, how we look at these things? Well, let's start here. You could go starting out of foreground. I got a little tree that wasn't there. I invented that too, just to join these two shapes together. And we've got our positive elements, which is solid things like trees, rocks, stuff like that. You'll see they're all joined together. We've got a, a foreground. Tree brings us up to this triangle. This lump brings us over back to this triangle. And then we have our negative elements. We've got the sky the water, which are things you can move through. The point is, I'm trying to make your eye stay in the picture. Uh, we have this shape pointing over to this shape, and we have this point pointing back to the water, and then back up to here and back in here. This nice little S bend we see in the river, well, that's not there either. I had to invent that too, just it seemed like a more pleasing shape, uh, something to lead you through the piece. So the point of it all is we're designing these things. Uh, we're trying to get your eye to come into the piece and just keep going around. It could go around this way, that way. Something that makes your eye not wander off into the painting next to it. Try to keep you there for a while. And I hope this helps. Uh, appreciate what we're doing and how art works. I've learned over time that you don't really need to have a God-given talent for this stuff. Um, it's, it's something that can be learned, just like you learn any, any art or any craft, uh, any sport. Um, if you have 
some good teachers, you can um, you can think your way through these things, learn to think your way through these problems. I think you just need a, a willingness to try something new and just if you stick with it long enough that you can, you get it. You just get these things.